DevOps is a journey, and to be successful requires fostering the right culture, having great tools and technologies. What enables an organization to get to successful DevOps is architecture. The micro-focused DevOps model office, which we will take you through in this video, is that architecture. It is a fully functional reference implementation environment showcasing key common real life use cases. It's a complete DevOps tool chain that governs the planning, accelerates the development and release, and manages operations of your software application portfolio. The model office is a rich and detailed end-to-end -end DevOps ecosystem integrated to deliver a comprehensive set of use cases across eight modules. Continuous planning, integration, deployment and release, testing, security, operations, collaboration, and assessment. As you can see, the ecosystem of the model office is made to be modular and can integrate any microfocus technology. So what does end-to-end -end DevOps look like? It starts with enterprise continuous planning based on the SAFE framework. Microfocus project and portfolio management helps you maintain and drive complex portfolios to deliver the most value. Let's look at an example. To drive business growth, the business has new demands and has submitted four new proposals, which are captured and managed in project and portfolio management. After a cost-benefit analysis, the stakeholders have approved the best proposal and the project is automatically created. We can examine the impact on the overall portfolio, manage the solution at the portfolio epic level, and gain full visibility into its progress and milestones. At the project level, we can immediately see the main KPIs. We can manage high-level staffing requirements, as well as maintain a view on the budget and cost at all times. Because this is an Agile project, it is linked to ALM Octane. ALM Octane is our Agile project management solution, where we manage aspects like epics, features, and in this case, a user story to enhance the company's online store, Advantage Online Shopping. The execution status, as well as actual effort from ALM Octane, is synchronized back to project and portfolio management. This allows the project manager to view real-time status and cost from within their familiar project and portfolio tool, so they can manage the project as part of the company's portfolio of programs. ALM Octane will help manage all agile aspects, including planning sprints and releases, managing requirements and backlog, as well as controlling quality. We are now in continuous integration, where our developer is ready to start implementing the necessary code for the approved project. Continuous integration is architected as an open ecosystem, allowing the use of many industry-leading tools, which are integrated to streamline the development process. The user stories from ALM Octane are integrated directly into the IDE, so everything is at the developer's fingertips. She can select the user story, or defect, on which she will work, get more details, and change the status right inside the IDE, leading to a more efficient and simplified development process. After she completes the code change, the developer launches Fortify without leaving the IDE. Fortify executes a static code analysis checking for known security vulnerabilities such as SQL injection, privacy violation, and path manipulation. It shows the offending lines of code, a detailed description, as well as recommendations on how to fix the issues. The developer now builds and runs the application locally, but in order to do that, she utilizes service virtualization to simulate dependent application components that are not yet available in her environment. Service virtualization provides perfectly simulated components, including their APIs and data models. Adopting shift-left testing, once the application is running locally with the changes implemented, the developer launches a set of functional tests using LeanFT, again, without ever leaving the IDE. The tests run automatically, interacting with the application just like a real user. The status of all of these tests is reflected back in ALM Octane for full visibility. Since the company also has Advantage Online Shopping mobile app, the developer implements and documents the changes and then tests the newly introduced code using an Android emulator. This too, without ever leaving the IDE. It is now time to deploy the code. With continuous delivery, we combine continuous integration with continuous deployment and release and continuous testing. Automating these processes results in higher quality applications being released. Using Serena Release Control, 
the release team manages all release trains and environments, giving complete visibility as well as control of the release lifecycle. This includes a fully configured process of required tasks and approvals, including audit trails of all release-related activities. Serena Deployment Automation takes care of all complex deployment tasks, taking the application through all the deployment stages. Now that the implementation is complete and tested locally, the code is committed to a Git repository and the deployment is automatically triggered. This is a Docker-based deployment pipeline using Kubernetes and is fully integrated with Jenkins. The pipeline proceeds through each stage in which the containers are deployed to Kubernetes. Jenkins also orchestrates a pipeline to deploy the mobile application using MicroFocus Mobile Center for app and device management. With continuous testing and continuous security, we ensure that the delivered product is of the highest quality. Full automation and integration allows constant visibility while incorporating agile principles. Continuous testing, including functional and performance, provides full coverage throughout all of the stages of the pipeline. Continuous security prevents vulnerabilities, both static and dynamic, from ever reaching production. We already saw the developer running a static code analysis, and now we execute the same scan automatically as part of the pipeline, but this time it gets the fully integrated code during the build stage. We can drill down to see more details in Software Security Center. Here too, we can see the offending lines of code, assess the criticality of the issue, and use the integration to ALM to open a defect in ALM immediately, so it can be tracked and remedied. With continuous testing, as soon as the environment is provisioned and ready, we automatically execute tests against it. We start with functional tests using LeanFT, but this time with all components completed and integrated in the team integration stage. In the next stage, we provide more in-depth functional testing coverage using Unified Functional Testing, or UFT. UFT can execute tests against multiple types of applications. We start with the web app, and just like we have seen before, these tests interact with the application like a real user, submitting input and checking whether the application behaves as it should. Once the web app has been tested, it's time to test the mobile app. Using the same scripting language, tests can manipulate a mobile UI just like they do for a web app. The pipeline execution is fully synchronized with ALM Octane in real time, allowing tracking of all quality metrics of the release. When the developer checked in her code, the user story ID was linked to the commit, enabling tracking, auditing, and change-based impact testing. ALM Octane is able to provide visibility into affected application modules, as well as all of the backlog items related to the relevant commits for this release. Once the functional tests pass, a performance test is run using Performance Center. The application is put under load and is measured for performance, throughput, and many other metrics ensuring the new code did not introduce any degradation. Now that the application is staged for production, we execute a final security test, this time a dynamic application test using Fortify Web Inspect. It is automatically run in a container as part of the same Jenkins pipeline. It simulates a variety of attacks and when it completes, the results are once again integrated into Software Security Center to provide a central place for all security related issues. We can drill down and see that after running more than 300 attacks, no major vulnerabilities are found. We are ready to move to production. Now we are in production, so continuous operations takes over where we protect and monitor the application. A fully integrated operations environment helps streamline incident handling and resolution. The Advantage online shopping application has now been deployed on AWS infrastructure and is being monitored continuously by Operations Bridge Manager. When a serious Java heap memory issue occurs, threatening to bring down the Tomcat server, the event is captured by Operations Bridge. It is automatically classified as critical which also triggers automatic escalation to the incident management team by creating an incident and service management automation. The priority for the operator is to minimize the impact on users by controlling the imminent crash of the web server and regaining stability. To that end, Operations Bridge Manager can intelligently match and propose remediation tools that fit the nature of the issue. Applying remediation can be fully automated using this approach 
or as we see here through operator action. The remediation procedure adjusts the Java heat memory and performs the necessary restart of the Tomcat server. For now, the Advantage Online Shopping application is restored to a stable state. In the meantime, an analyst has seen the escalated incident appear on his dashboard. He will take a deeper look at what could have caused it and determine if further action is required. To help with the investigation, Service Management Automation has already initiated the retrieval of systems diagnostics information. The concept of incident models allows for automating common incident analysis tasks such as these, including the integration of tools for task execution, such as operations orchestration in this case. The system diagnostics information that was retrieved has been added to the discussion section in the incident and appears to point to a potential memory leak in the AOS application, something to be looked at by the development team. The incident analyst decides to take multiple actions. First, by marking the incident as a defect, a defect is automatically created in ALM Octane and added to the backlog. Second, he initiates a change that aims to reduce the risk of the incident recurring while the AOS development team is identifying the root cause and working on the fix. With Java heat memory having been increased by the remediation tool, he realizes that the instance will need to be reprovisioned with more memory. Again, a high degree of automation of processing this change is achieved by applying a model that has a standard task plan to execute this kind of common change. Migrating to a different server class does imply some downtime. The service management automation change calendar indicates the first available slot that can be assigned to the change considering blackout windows and conflicting changes. In the meantime, the defect has been created in ALM Octane and we can see the reference to it in the assignment section in the incident. In ALM Octane itself, a member of the AOS development team sees the new high priority defect appear in the backlog, ready to be picked up and assigned to a sprint. For a mobile application, AppPulse Mobile is a mobile app performance monitoring tool that tracks the real user experience of your deployed mobile apps. AppPulse Mobile Fundex measures app health including performance, stability, and other factors. We can see UI performance of the application, stability and resource usages, user flows to understand how users use your mobile app, as well as where your users are based geographically. Continuous collaboration brings people, process, tools, and automation together. It creates a seamless integration leading to faster solutions to any operational issue. We are still in production, but it seems like there's an issue. The application is returning an error on payment, obviously a very serious runtime problem. Our continuous operations team is using chat ops and is being automatically notified about the error from SiteScope which monitors the application in production and is integrated with the enterprise chatbot. This triggers a sequence of communications between the team members using an enterprise level chatbot, which provides integration between a collaboration tool and service management automation. One of the operators decides to open an incident ticket in service management automation. Once the bot confirms authentication, the incident is created and then assigned to an operator for resolution. The monitor is temporarily disabled while the issue is under investigation using a SiteScope bot. Since this is a serious issue, it is classified as a major incident, which triggers an automatic creation of a war room. This is where the relevant team is assembled to quickly drive to a resolution. Upon inspection with the product owner, it looks like this is a result of a change in the provider API. So a defect is created in ALM Octane directly from the collaboration tool using the ALM Octane chatbot. The dev team communicates, fixes the issue, and pushes the change to production using the same pipeline we saw earlier. The fix is confirmed, the incident closed, and all conversations are saved with the incident in service management automation for traceability. The success of any DevOps initiative lies with measurement and iterative improvements. Our KPI dashboard running on top of Vertica continuously collects data from all the components which make up the DevOps tool chain we just saw. It tracks a variety of KPIs for velocity, productivity, quality, and security. Here, we see how long it takes to deploy at each stage along with trend information. 
Our dashboard allows for real-time filtering and manipulation. It is also built using SQL and is easily customizable for data as well as look and feel. This KPI allows you to track how long it takes to apply a fix and restore the application after an issue occurs. We can see that the amount of time is trending slightly higher, although the number of occurrences has decreased. The Deployment Lead Time KPI is one of the most important metrics in a DevOps implementation. It provides a view into the length of the cycle for taking a feature from code check-in to production. It predicts the effectiveness of the organization and the ability for dev and ops to work together efficiently. We also provide a KPI that gives insight into your user's sentiment about the different features in your applications. It lets you analyze whether the features you bring to market are seen positively or negatively by the real users of the application. This is done through integration with social media such as Twitter using Microfocus Big Data Analytics technology including Vertica for structured data and Idle for unstructured data. This is what end-to-end -end DevOps looks like in our model office. It is modular to provide flexibility and automated to deliver consistency. We at Microfocus have invested in developing a fully integrated platform based on IT for IT architecture so you can focus on your business and deliver applications which are more secure and higher quality at a lower cost with greater speed. We invite you to take the Microfocus DevOps model office for a test drive.